Hello friends, you are very welcome to this presentation. We will be considering how to change Prota structure languages. As you can see on this, our modeling tab provisions, we have English language, so you can change these languages to other languages. We are going to be looking at that in this presentation. And as well, we will be also be considering how to set the background so it looks like this, okay? And then we will go ahead and set uh, object snap. We will have to set objects now just the way we have object snap in AutoCAD. We also have it in product structure. So we we'll set these three things in this presentation. Without wasting much of our time, let us get started. At first, we'll be considering the background settings. Right? For the background settings of uh, product structure, you have to go to two places. Okay. The first place is to pass through the settings, options, and then you come to this setting center all right you can still get there or you use the display setting this one or if you come through the display over here you can also see display setting over here you use it okay so you just have to click left click once on it so once the it comes up the, the dialogue options dialogue comes up like this if you come over here you will notice you see background start top color bottom color you see select uh, selection color high light color so all of these colors are being listed here you can change them effectively but our area of concern is the you know uh, the background stars and the top uh color as well bottom color right there so you know for the background style here you see is gradient that is why you are seeing the orange and the uh, light sand color okay so the light sand color is actually at the bottom while the orange is at the top right there so that is how it is but if you want to make it solid you can also change the solid so once it is solid you will notice that you will not see this uh, light cyan color but it's going to be all through orange color because it's a uh, solid all right but if you want to see both of the colors you have to actually select uh you know linear gradient so you have it like this so any color of your choice can be selected from this uh, color drop down menu and then the color system okay so you can choose any of these and then customize your windows while you are doing your modeling all right so this is how the color is being changed for instance if i want to have a maybe uh let me select another color i think i like this one okay this is gold all right i get that selected it's more or less like uh, the orange right there okay but uh, let's select something quite different Louis. let us use this uh, oliver okay so and we are uh, on gradient okay uh background style all right so click on the okay options so once you click on the okay options you'll be having something of this can see how the environment is is changed uh successfully just like this okay so this is how to set uh, environment color okay the next thing we'll be looking at is how we can set an object snap okay object snap you know we do have it in autocad as well uh, i'll just snap a post to draw and pick a point in the drawing environment effectively okay that is the work of our object snap and so it have to be turned on so that we can be able to navigate while we are modeling our object all right so for us to get that you can also get that through the display settings over there okay and then this time around you can see object snaps here okay object snaps everything is on all right everything is on here all right okay so having everything on here there is another provision you need to go and make some settings all right for you to go there you need to come over to this prototype environment okay so it actually it gets effective uh, in the product detail environment so once you set it here it affects your product detail environment okay so if you come to this object snap right there you see all of these provisions these are the snap point depending on the whether this is mid point end point the section point tangent and the rest of that so you have to get all of this selected if for instance you have it like this you just have to select all just like this to get all selected so that once you are carrying out your drawing you will be able to pick uh, the exact point you intended all right the last thing we'll be looking at is the languages and also i will be showing us how to set a very version of uh, uh microsoft word uh, environment so for our you know uh for our printout of the maybe calculation sheet okay so we can also look at that so come to this general tab here yeah, this general tab and over here you see language settings right there you can see display language okay you see english all right for the report english for the display you see we have uh, 
also english so if you check here this is the display all of this one you are seeing there so if you change anything from here right away this is going to take these languages okay so if you scroll down this are the available languages in proper structure you can say that whether in the reports or as well in the uh display all right successfully so this is how you can actually change your languages in proper structure okay so if you come down over here say you see this team uh selections you see teams uh office 13 okay so you can select any of these office okay versions 210 is also here so depending on the office you have when you want to print your calculation sheet okay in office is going to actually automatically print using these uh, selections and settings we have made right here okay so these are the things we have to look at and how to make this setting effective okay so uh I don't know if you have any questions you can drop it in the comment sections and we respond to all of your questions but we want to bring the uh, presentation to a close here so after you must have done with your selection you just click on the your selection and changes rather you just click on the uh, ok option so if you also need an auto save you can see what we have here auto save here is, is zero all right so meaning the program can save your project on its own you have to save it on your own but if you put key in like one or two two minutes depending on any means you are on your project working the program will automatically be saving your project for you so if you check right here you can see some other settings that i have not also explained but i'll bring you to some settings that will help you to effect you are you know modeling a product structure successfully any question just as i asked earlier drop it in the comment section after you have changes click on the ok options to actually effect the changes you can see how everything has actually changed okay you see the environment has actually changed you can see what i'm having here right away okay so it is because of the settings that i have made okay to the uh system all right so you can also do that okay to have a very design and good environment just like this okay so we have to stop here we see in the next lesson don't forget to like the lesson don't forget to or subscribe to soft reason channel as we will bring in more advanced lesson of this kind to you all right stay safe stay connected and see you in the next lesson bye for now